hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day or a great night depending on when you're watching this video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is desiree i do all things budgeting in this video i wanted to talk about the last week or pretty much the last couple of days since i stopped on this day right here with the previous video so let's talk about it let's see how much i'm actually over budget all of that good stuff so when i left off i was talking about how i stayed at home ate at home it was a no spin i'm not really sure what i ate that day but it was at home on the 16th i had my hair appointment i did record my check-in i kind of revamped my second paycheck budget and i also wrote this down um i was watching tina's video a pink cloth life and what she did was took a small savings challenge and multiplied it to make a bigger one. And I was really thinking about that. So I wrote that down. I had a no spin this day, but I ended up taking the giveaway prize to the post office and I paid $1.44 for shipping. And that puts me at a negative $68.44 on the 17th. Me and Gina did meet. We went to Slimmin' Huskies, which is a pizza place. Their food is pretty expensive, but the pizza I had was really good. Also, the two cinnamon rolls that I purchased, they were really good too. I did not eat both of the cinnamon rolls by myself. I actually shared it with Travis. So... Slimming Huskies, I spent $22.95, so 23 When I got back this way towards home, I stopped at Zaxby's, got Travis something to eat, and that was $9.28. And that was it for that day. The next day, which was the 18th, I used my credit that I had for Grubhub. I don't know why my job have them where they expire, but they do. I spent the extra $14.35 for that. And down here, I ordered food through Instacart. I spent $51.44, not $0.41. Cent. So that put me at a negative $166.46. So on the 19th, which was yesterday, or is it today? Let me check. Okay, today is the 20th. So, the 19th was yesterday. I didn't spend anything. And today, I didn't spend anything either. Now, all of essentials equals $345.90. I did overspend by $165.90 or $166. Now, these two amounts are different but that's okay and it's most likely different due to how i added up everything but it's okay it's just off by a dollar or so so all of this money is going back to the bank so this is 20 40 60 80 one wait what 20 40 60 80 one 20 40 50 5 65 66 67 68 69 and that money $169 is for $86 to my credit union and $83 to Capital One but since I've already paid Capital One the $83 is just going to my checking account which is my bill account and the $86 for Capital One well that's going to my checking account as well because I'm not paying that money back until the credit card close. So once that credit card close, I should have a balance due of $500 and I'll just pay it. And this money, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. I'm adding this money here, $160 to this amount. And where did I get the $160 from? So, I had cash on hand 
that was not in the budget i actually planned on saving it all in my emergency but i figured well there's no need to save the money if you already are in the negative so i just added 160 dollars to this so now i have 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. Wait, did I add that right? Okay, so I did add everything right. It, this should be $329. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, $29. So this $300 is typically supposed to go back to the bank but you all know how i do so normally what i'll do is take this money use it for what i need to use it for with cash and just send 329 dollars to my checking account from my next paycheck which i will get tomorrow let me check yeah tomorrow since today is tuesday so I have this in cash for what I need for savings, food, all of that for the next budget. And I'm really hoping to stay focused. Okay, so overall the budget was $1,236. This amount for $708 was the same when it comes to the bills. Of course, when it comes to variable, I started with $200. $25. I actually spent $372.90. I had $18 left when it comes to gas and I'm going to send that to my savings account online. There is no need for me to get that money from the bank. And down here at the bottom, that's always the same. So if I just bring this down, Actually, it's supposed to go right here. Calculator, where are you? So, 37290 minus 16590. That means I was over budget by $207 which is sad by the way so 207 so that's it for this video over budget by 207 dollars this is what the rest of my budget looked like at least i wasn't over budget in both categories so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day okay i don't know why I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> have a great night, you guys. Don't forget about the rest of this week's BCL. I will link them down below. Mrs. V, she has a series that she's doing. Definitely check it out. I enjoyed the video that she came out with today. And I know Michelle is doing another series as well. So stay tuned for all of those videos. Bye.